Meet the Afghan Olympic cycling team. So, uh, this sport is my favorite uh, sport. I like uh, the cycle. They're brave men and women. It can't be easy to train in this country. There's no real infrastructure. If you go off-road, you risk hitting a landmine. But if you stick to the road, you could be an easy target. In Afghanistan, not good, not has a good situation because we are going for practice in a small way. A small way. Sometimes the Taliban is, uh, you see me, maybe shoot. Yes, they are very problem. We have a problem. But the second problem is cycle. Uh, cycle and also clothes and also shirts, helmets also. Uh, but we have uh, now the cycling, but we are very happy about the magazine cycling. Well, it's actually Bicycling Magazine that stepped in to help. They've donated 50 new bikes, some for the Olympic team, others for a local orphanage. In the poorest countries in the world, a bicycle uh, has the ability to, to double uh, somebody's income, but it also provides, you know, just basic transportation, recreation, uh, keeps kids busy, keeps them out of trouble. In a country like Afghanistan, I think it will have a huge impact. The magazine's been giving bikes away since 2003 when they launched a project called Bike Town. We started in the United States and we've gone to almost 30 cities in the United States providing bikes to get people riding. So this summer we'll give out a thousand bikes in southern Africa. Afghanistan's our first Asian country. The Afghans have also been equipped with new cycling accessories and a mechanic's been on hand to teach them basic repairs. And it looks like the cable is a little too loose. This is too loose. So we just need to, essentially we need to downshift all the way, loosen up the cable and pull it a tad tighter. Back at the presentation, the founder of the Afghan Cycling Federation was clearly happy, as is expected will be most of the other recipients of these bikes. Mel Preen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.